students we were doing one sum one numerical from your section weaves okay uh, the there are three parts of this question the two parts are done uh, now i will move on to the part c that is i'm repeating the question for you all so that you can understand which sum we are doing right now uh, the equation of simple harmonic oscillations of a source is y equals to this this particular equation find the displacement from the position of equilibrium that was your part a that is done here part a and the the, the velocity so velocity part b is also done here okay now the acceleration you have to find out so and the acceleration of a point uh, 10 meters away from the source of oscillation for a moment t equals to 3 second after the oscillation begin and the velocity's value is given that I have written on top 200 meter per second. So students, uh, the first formula or the main formula of acceleration that you have read in this wave motion chapter is what? So I will just write it and let's see what the value of acceleration we can get. So A will be omega squared y, isn't it? Isn't it the main formula in this? wave motion chapter in order to find out this acceleration all right now students omega's values you can able to get from this part c on top i've written this omega equals to 20 pi so i can write it but what is the value of y that you are getting in this particular sum c the value of y only i have calculated in the part a what is the value of part uh, what is the value of uh, your uh, displacement that is y in part a the displacement's value is zero so although my omega's values i've got so uh, 20 just think that omega's values is 20 pi so 20 pi square into zero will be what zero only that means no need to calculate only just from the formula only you can able to write why because in the part a you have already calculated your y's value is zero so no need to write anything just you will write as zero clear yes so students your this particular sum is done okay the three parts we have calculated all right uh, now students yes you just go through the sum then i will move on to the other sum yes Uh, your next sum is, let me wipe out the board. Okay. So my next sum is, select the alternatives your alternatives are given but the statement is a transverse weave is described by the equation i'm writing the equation students i will explain the question once again just you listen the question y equals to y naught sine 2 pi okay and within bracket f t minus x by lambda okay so the transverse wave equation wave mo equation of motion is this okay and what is the next information given the maximum particle velocity is equal to four times the wave velocity if now the options are coming if a part a means option a gamma equals to oh, sorry lambda equals to I am writing the uh, option students, option A that is your lambda is equal to pi y0 by 4, option B lambda equals to pi y0 by 2 option c lambda equals to pi y0 and option d 
lambda equals to 2 pi y 0 or y naught okay so what is the question students that means out of this four options you have to select the correct one what is the statement given that your transverse wave is described by this particular equation this that I have written on top all right and yes then the maximum particle velocity is, is equal to four times the wave velocity if that means you have to find out when what is that condition that when the particle velocity will be equal to four times the wave velocity that means the conditions the correct conditions you have to sort out from here all right so let's start so my equation of wave is given so i'm not writing it so students from this part what we can write we can able to find out the wave velocity isn't it wave velocity also we have done in the theory classes of this wave motion chapter okay so i can write it as wave velocity v equals to f into lambda isn't it okay yes so now what will be my value for this particle velocity just remember the formulas in order to find out the particle velocity it will be what dy by dt that means if you just do the differentiation this with respect to t for one time we'll get the particle velocity let's do it that means this is your wave velocity i'm writing in short as w v and particle velocity i'm writing as p v p v will be equal to d y by d t okay so now differentiate it so we'll get as differentiation you must have learned in your maths classes so i'm not repeating it y naught into 2 pi f cos 2 pi sin 2 pi will change to cos 2 pi and the bracket part will remain same it means ft minus x by lambda clear yes now what will be the value of the maximum particle velocity that means this dy by dt max will be what equal to 2 pi f y0 isn't it 